Well, Blitz is muted right now, so. What do you mean? Oh, uh, never mind. Uh, well, your mic was um, on mute for a sec. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I remember this part. Yeah. Give it a couple seconds, and then now I'll read my line. Then I didn't even choose that one because it was it was gonna give me pimples. So I chose another scary one because for all those years that I went for Halloween, I wasn't scary at all. I like baseball. It's my destiny to play that game. I don't really care about winning. Well, like now I do because like we lost every game. I've gotten tired of it. I'm working like so hard. All the balls are getting thrown. Give your hair out the gutter, bud. I'm trying to catch like everyone. All those people in the outfield are looking around and come on, let's play some baseball, okay? Not a lazy game. They're here. Lewis? Lewis. Goob. Hey. I did it. Goob. I finished it. They they are gonna they are gonna love this. <sighs> Nothing says adopt me like a weird invention. Go ahead, Bobby. Okay. Lewis, Lewis, the Harringtons are here. Way ahead of you, Mildred. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Remember, set up straight, look them in the eyes, and smile. Let's fix your... Um... <sighs> Mildred... All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, you know, go show them how special you are. Oh, I hope this is, is it. I hope he gets adopted. You and me both, Chief. I mean, there's so many things in, in the world that that can be improved. Just think of it. Move, move sidewalks, flying cars, and possibilities are endless. Flying cars, yeah, that's a good one. All it all it takes is some imagination and a little science, and we can make the world a better place. <clears throat> well, what? these uh, wait, what? that's me. That's still. Oh, yeah, you. sorry, my bad, my bad, Bo. <laughs> well, those are some all interesting ideas. So, what is your favorite sport? Well. Does inventing count as a sport? Actually, because I think it, I, I hit a home run with this one. What is that? Um, just give it a second. Sorry, sorry. Right, go ahead. Um, first, a question: What, what's the, what's the number one problem? That you face when you make make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, <clears throat> Lewis. I don't think we portion control. Too much peanut butter sticks to the roof of your mouth. Takes forever to chew. Too much jelly squishes out the sides and makes your hand all sticky. Well, I propose that the perfect PB. And J is within within mankind's gasp, and yeah. I built and I built this machine to achieve it for the de demonstration. I'll use regular bread. Honey, it's okay. As you can see, toasting a uh, is a, an option. We don't usually eat peanut butter since I'm allergic in real life. Lewis, this is really not necessary. It's jammed. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Lewis, <laughs> please don't. Oops. <laughs> What's happening? Mr. Harrington has a peanut allergy. I'm sorry. Here, let me help you help you get that off. Stand back. <gasps> Is he going to be okay? Breathe. Breathe. 
<laughs> so sorry. I didn't know. It was really nice to meet you. We're going to need some time to think about it. Hi, folks. Everything all... What happened? Miss Duffy, that boy is definitely not right for us. Now, if you'll excuse us. Excuse me. I I'm so sorry about this. If you would just... Hey, I made some lunch. Not hungry. Poor Mr. Harrington. I killed him? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. You didn't kill him. I called. He's perfectly fine. <sighs> I was just going to say that it's it's too bad he didn't get to try a sandwich from that wonderful invention of yours. Mm. Yeah, real wonderful. It's not you. We just haven't found the right couple yet. 124. What? That's how many adopt adoption interviews I've had. One, 124. Oh, Lewis, come on. Come on now. You're exaggerating just to make your point. Plus, I'm gonna be 13 next year, and and you know how hard it, it is for a teenager to get adopted? I have no future. No one wants me. That's not true, Lewis. My own mother didn't even want me. Now stop it. You don't know that. Then why'd she give me up? She may not have been able to take care of you. Did you ever think of that? I am sure that she was only thinking about what was best for you. I never thought of it that way. Maybe she wanted to keep you, but she had no choice. You're right. My real mom is the only person who who's never who's ever wanted me. But wait, I, I said maybe. And and if she wanted me, then she'll want me now. What are you talking about? I have to find her, Mildred. And when I do, she'll take me back and we'll be family again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lewis, you can't do that. No one knows anything about her. No one even saw her. Wrong. I saw her once. She's in in here. I have I just have to remember that's it. And montage of keeping Goob awake as much to his dismay. Yada yada yada. That kid's such a goober. Hurry the f up, like seriously. Hey! You downloaded the app too? No, it, I did it on the, um, the laptop. Oh. A I laptop? Downloaded, really? I downloaded a video of it and put it on my iMovie. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. What's the app called, anyway? You just put beep sound and it shows you uh, like videos and everything else about it. I hmm. had a bleep app. <laughs> and let me tell you, it is f***ing awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You bitch. Uh, you weren't here, Bobby, and um, we did the um, transcript of uh, Rapunzel. Um, sorry, yeah. Tangled. And yeah, um, this... I was busy that day. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. But here's the funny part. Um, the scene because I was Rapunzel and Fresh was um, Flint Rider, and uh, the scene where he gets knocked down and he said broke my motor, and uh, uh, Fresh also said he also broke my bleep and made me laugh so hard. Wait, yeah. and, Pas and Pascal was pounding his fist like, let's f***ing kill him. Let's yeah. f***ing kill him. Wow, it actually <laughs> works. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, I, I also commented from you guys saying that one of the that one of the, uh, the guys at the bar, he had like Topic's head helmet, head cage. Good. Oh, yeah. Well, as 
because that was way before that Chopper design. It's also based on the helmet used for Hades and yeah, I know. I also uh, said Hades and God of War three and God of in the God of War franchise, which I am not a fan of. But let's continue. Let's we're getting off track. But great reference. Also, <clears throat> uh, okay. And wait. Oh sh. Oh that. I show, I did this with Scarlet and her friend. Oh, she was, I saw and that. She was yesterday. She, um, I saw that. Yeah. Oh, and how is she doing? Uh, uh, she's doing okay. <laughs> I saw that stream yesterday. It was funny. <laughs> yep. Okay. We'll see you at two this afternoon. He'll be so excited you're coming. Uh, bye bye now. Yes. Hey, good, I, I mean, Michael, good good luck at the big game today. Easy win. Those guys are a bunch of... I just hope I can stay awake. Don't tell me. Let me guess. He was up all night working on this stupid project, but that's what happens when you get a science geek for a roommate. <sighs> ah, that's a good joke. All right, Einstein, you owe Michael big time. Well, yeah. unlocking the secrets of the brain took a lot longer than I ex expected, but it's finished. M Mildred, I, re I re recalibrated the headset. Now the now the neural neural circuits will correct uh, connect. I've I've cracked the in hip 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 hippocampus. hippocampus. Very good. Really? Okay. What? Now to test it out. Oh no, I'm late. I gotta go. Wait a minute, Lu Lewis. Wait a minute. I almost forgot what I came up here for. I know you have a lot on your plate today, but I've scheduled an interview for you this afternoon. No thanks. No thanks? Sweetheart, this is about being adopted, and you will be back here clean and happy and, and on time. I'm done with interviews, Mil Mildred. I'm not going to be rejected anymore. Listen, I know where your head is, but I'm telling you, you have to get out of the past and look into the future. I am, and this is it. This is my future. I'm sorry. Well, Lewis? Ready? Holy! <laughs> it's Tom Kenny! <laughs> you better, Lewis! Hi, how are ya? Hi, <laughs> uh, SpongeBob. Uh... Yeah, that's mine. That's you. All right, uh, Mr. Will Willerson. Oh wait, all right, Doctor Doctor Cr Crunklehorn. I I know you're. I know you're very busy there at in in Vince in Vince Co Labs, and we just and we just are excited are so excited to have you as a judge. <clears throat> it's my pleasure, Mr. Willstein. Here, you never know one of your students may invent the next integrated circuit or microprocessor or integrated circuit. Oh, wait, I said that already. Well, I just don't get out of that job very much. Is that bow tie? I, li I like bow ties. I haven't slept in eight days. Oh, then go get some sleep then. Oh, shit. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Um, um. Well, then, can I get get you a cot or something? Nope. I've I got the caffeine patch. It's my invention. Each patch is the equivalent of 12 cups of coffee. You can stay awake for days with no side effects. Yeah! Sorry, who's this? Yeah, like, how is she not dead of that? Because, you know, caffeine is very bad for your heart. I'm surprised she hasn't had a heart attack with those things. Well, so, thanks for yeah. turning this, like, um, uh, this, this family-friendly thing a little bit dark. Well, I'm just trying to make a point. I mean, because, you know, caffeine is bad for your heart, so I don't know how is this possible. But, logic, they don't want to allow that. I mean, 
more than that, patches are actually bad for you. Yeah, it could keep you safe, but don't use too much of it because they actually actually could make you sick in real life. What like is the like the patches used anyway? for to help you not smoke anymore? They can still make you sick. No, no, I, I mean. I mean, yeah, nicotine patches. I've seen those. I've seen yeah. Those. The well, luckily, use- I don't smoke, so I don't have any problem. <laughs> Good job. You have another problem. All right, let's go. Why? All right. This is this is one of our students, Stanley Pu- Pukowski. 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 This ain't no kick, Pukowski. <clears throat> Oh, so cute. I just wanted to bite his chubby little cheeks. What's with the dress, Bukowski? What's with oh, the dress? Oh, oh, I was just double checking. Uh, it's actually a toga, sir. Um, couch, nice to, nice to see you. Coach, it was coach. Coach, it's nice to see you. <laughs> hey wait guys. What do you call what do you call a lazy coach who sits all day? Couch. A coach potato. Good one. Funny, so. Sort of uh what are you doing here? Just a science fair. What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> and what makes you Qualify to judge a science fair. It's my gym. I mean, has- he's got a point. Want some of this man meat? Maybe. <laughs> Stanley Volcano. Behold the awesome power of Mount. How, we, how you say that? Vesuvius. Vesuvius. The toggle switch isn't toggling. <laughs> Oh, coffee. Dr. Crunklehorn? Uh, uh, barium, cobalt, Einstein, Kool Aid. Oh, yeah. No, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what she just said, but this project is unacceptable. Don't give me 20 left to right or turn. Move it, move it, go it. Go, go, go. Move. Unacceptable. At least Lemon Grab's not judging it. Unacceptable. Go, 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 you fat piece of Coach! I'm watching you, you fat. You, that's why. <laughs> We're having so much fun what with this, I swear. Wait, Wait so- give me 20 laps around the damn, you fat. <laughs> Uh, okay, next up li- is Lizzie and her fire ant fire ant farm. That's right. Lizzie, we talked about the fire ants. You know that they have a t- tendency to bite people. Only my enemies. She's uh-huh. definitely Wednesday. Clearly. Just keep moving, shall we? Top notch, Lizzie. Let's not anger her or make her jumpy in any way. <gasps> this area is not secure. Get in. Have you been approached by a tall man in a bowler hat? What? Hey, hey, I'll ask the questions here. Okay, goodbye. All right. Didn't want to pull you. Didn't want to pull you right into this. But... Oh, I didn't want to pull rank on you, but you forced my hand. Special Agent Wilbur Robinson of the TCFT. Uh, of the TCF. <laughs> TCTF. Ah, oh, I studied this last night. Uh, just, <laughs> the that was so amazing. All right, go ahead. Uh, time Continuing Task Force. I'm here to protect you. Well. Now, tall man, bullet hat, approached you? No, why? I could lose my badge for this. He's a suspect in a robbery. Um, no, um, what did he steal? A time machine. A what? I tracked him to this time, and my informants say he's after you. Me? Why me? The boys back at HQ haven't figured out a motive yet, and by HQ, I mean headquarters. 
I know what <laughs> HQ means. Good. You're a smart kid. That might keep you alive for now. Just worry about your little science gizmo and leave the perp to me. And by perp, I mean... I know what it means. Okay, Mr. Smarty Pants. Boy, <laughs> guy! Oh, no. It's Waluigi. <laughs> 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 Uh, but I mean, come on, he does look s similar to Waluigi. He does. Uh, <clears throat> this is what you get for not making me in Smash Ultimate, your mother. Well, you were made by Microsoft. Oh, yeah. you son of a. <laughs> <laughs> My friends! You're not gonna get away with it, kid with science project. <laughs> Yeah, Bobby, you're kid number one. But dude, you almost busted my solar system. <laughs> my friends, you're getting away. <laughs> Got you. That's the last of them. Annoying little girl. I don't have time for this. I'm in a very important. Don't sass me, boy. I know karate. I'm gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> Come on, Pukowski. Feel the pain. Love the pain. <laughs> Coach. Next up <clears throat> is Lewis. Yes. Lewis, excuse me. Lewis, tell me this is, this thing is not gonna. It's okay. It's gonna work this time. It won't let you down, I promise. All right, Lewis. I trust you. Knock him dead. That Not was, literally. That was a finger of speech. Please don't kill anyone. Did you say finger? Yeah, he did. That was a finger of speech. <laughs> finger of speech. All right. Don't screw it up or else you're going to be in some really deep elephant shit. <laughs> okay, okay, stand back, everyone. This next project will knock your socks off. Seriously, you might want to stand back a little. Ahem. Have you ever forgotten something, and no matter how hard you, you tried, you couldn't remember it? Well, what happens to these forgotten memories... I promise they're they're stored somewhere in your brain and built and I built a machine that can retrie retrieve them. I can I call it the memory scanner. It's shiny. So Lewis, how does the memory scanner work? First, you put on the de desired period of time on this keypad. Then a laser scans the the cere cerebral cortex. Cerebral. It was close. Cerebral roll cortex. When oh, where memories cerebral cortex. When where memories are stored, the retreat. The retrieved memory is then displayed on this monitor. Wrap him up. I'll take. I'll take. Oh two. wait, wait, sorry, sorry. What? What's wrong? Yeah, this is actually uh, Doctor Cricklehorn's line. Uh... Oops. Okay. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> Uh, wrap him up. I'll take two. Now, I'm going back 12 years, three months, and 11 days. What a particular day. You didn't think I was paying attention, did you? Well, that was the day. Let's just say that was a very important day in my life. Fair enough. Play ball. I'll just take a second to get this 
turbines going. It'll. Lois, wait! <gasps> She's gonna blow! Watch out! Uh, feel the pain. Love the. Ah! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, your hand squealing like a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> you are so much! Make it stop! Make it stop! Holy f***! <laughs> Coach, suck you up, okay? Let's, let us con conduct ourselves in a way that will be, that we'll all be proud uh, uh, of tomorrow. Let's calm down. Mr. Willerstein, I didn't mean to. Not now, Lewis. I'm sorry. I'm I'm so sorry. Not now. Okay, and we are walking in a calm, ordinary fashion towards the exits. Orderly. Wait, Lewis. <laughs> Come, my dear. Our future awaits. <laughs> oh, yeah. I totally forgot that you're visiting my student smirts. Uh, yeah, like, even though I kind of remember when we uh, when we first did Phineas and Ferb, like, way back ago, I was like, wait, I was doing smirts. But then I was like, nah, let me get this a second chance to just, like, get more better at it or something like that. Well, yeah. I like, I almost just got to play him as someone else, but I just had to give it a second chance. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, what are you doing up here? Um, would you quit that, please? I know you're not, not Pigeon. A pigeon. 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 You're blowing my cover. We're 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 the only ones up here. That's just what they want you to think. Now enough moping. Take this back to the science fair and fix that memory scanner. Stop! Stop! Get away from me. Maybe you've forgotten. I'm a top cop for the future. Should be taken very seriously. That's no badge. That is a that is a coupon for the train for a training salon. You're tanning a salon, dude. Tanning salon. You're a fake. Okay, you got me. I'm not a cop, but I really am for the future. And this really was this boy hat guy. Here we go again. He stole a time machine, came to the science fair, and ruined your project. My project didn't work because I'm no good. There is no Bowler hat guy. There, there is no time machine, and you're not fun or from, and not you're not from the future. You're crazy. Whoa! I am not that Gnarls Barkley song. Oh yeah, Captain Time Travel, prove it. But, uh, uh... Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm just going to go lock myself in my room and hide under my covers for a couple of years. If I prove to you that I'm from, I'm from the future, will you go back in to the science fair? Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Hey, let me go. Let go of me. What are you? What are you doing? Let go of me. Okay. Ah! <laughs> What is this? Where are we going? To the future! Not to be confused with that movie franchise. Back to the future. Technically, Wilbur's going back to the future. <laughs> is this proof enough for you? We built this city. Is it? Is it ever? I never thought that time travel would be possible in my my lifetime and here it is right in front of me 
The truth will set you free, brother. This is beyond anything I could have imagined. This means I could really change my life. Right, you can. Next stop, science fair to fix your memory scanner. Hey, I'm gonna I'm not gonna fix that stupid memory scanner. What? Wilbur, th this is this is a time machine. Why should I fix my dumb invention when you can take me to take me to see my mom now in this ship? Uh, I I could I could actually go back to the that night and stop her from giving me up. The answer is not a time machine, it's this. This you want you want to know what I think about this? What are you doing? I'm sorry, Wilbur, but you don't know what what I what I've lived through. Lewis, no! Let go! You let go! You're not the boss of me! Yes, I am! Cause you're 12 and I'm 13! That makes me older! Well, I was born in the past, which makes me older and the boss of you. He got a point. <laughs> and the fact that he is the... Uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. I am so dead. I'm not allowed to look at this thing, let alone drive it. Mom and Dad are going to kill me. And I can tell you this, it will not be done with mercy. Isn't there like a time machine repair shop or something? No! There's only two time machines in existence, and the bullet hat guy has the other one! Well, somebody's gonna have to fix this. Good idea. You're smart. You fix it. Are you crazy? I can't... I can't fix this thing. Yes, you can. You broke it, you fix it. Alright, under one condition, I fix it, you take me back to see my mom. What? Did you didn't even fall through on our last deal? How can I trust you? Well, you told me where a time cop from the from the future how how I can trust you. Touche. How can I trust you? Um, so, do do we have a deal? Good day, madam. I'm here to change the future. And yeah, Bobby, you're the receptionist. Hey, yes, sir. I must speak with that man in charge immediately. Yes, sir. I have an appointment with destiny. Yeah, very good, sir. I'll let Smith know, and I'll have your dry cleaning delivered directly to your suite. What? Now, what time is your appointment? Are you talking to me? Yeah, what time is your appointment? He can't on the... Oh, two o'clock! You're the two o'clock? Yes, yes, I am. You're Mary Johnson? Yes, Mary <laughs> for... Um, Marion? Uh, can that be a bar name? Yes. Then yes! Have a seat. Well, oh, goody. Pass off and then as my own check. Ooh, I love checklists. The board is ready to see you now. Wait, what am I going to say? I'm never going to remember that. Would you... Uh, why don't you go? You do it so much better than me. That's true. A hat without a head that could really pass off an adventure as its own. Fantastic! Great idea! I'm so glad I have you other than Norm. <laughs> the good one. My name is Norm. Shit. <laughs> Prepare to be amazed. Oh, I got it. Prepare to be amazed. This is my innator. I doubt any of you have seen as anything as brilliant as this device. <clears throat> Very well, Miss Johnson. It's Miss. You have two myths. Please begin. Anybody just take care of this. Uh Okay. Hmm. It's shiny. What is that thing? Well, I like to call it my 
to call it my. What are you looking at? No, and uh, the sun in my eyes. Well then, let me close the blinds. Now the name. We, with, uh, we can quarrel about names on that a little date. The point is, what I have here is special, unique. Yes, yes, you must love it and buy it and mass produce it. And the best part is, it's got really comfy headphones. Uh, I wonder, could you lean forward just a little bit, please? Yes, uh, thank you. Sorry, I'm in yours. <clears throat> Yes, they're quite comfortable. What do you hope to accomplish with this? Oh, nothing of consequence. I simply wish to cross the innocence of a boy, orphan boy, and some aquatic platypus that I might fight. After that, it's just a little fussy. You mean you haven't thought this through 30 seconds? Oh, <laughs> allow me to show you how it works. Uh, first, we turn it on. Uh, that's not it. 10 seconds. Ding. So, where do I sign? No! Watch out! You and Vento! The horse is all over. All our hopes and dreams dashed like so many pieces of a broken machinery thing. You're right. Success is ours for the taking. We must find that boy. We'll sneak this thing into the garage. You have all the tools you need. What What about your parents? Mom never goes in there, and Dad's on a business trip until tomorrow morning. You got till 10 to fix it. Got till then to fix it. Huh. Well, fine. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some some blueprints or something for this. No worries, I got someone who could help us with that. Who dares disturb my sanctuary? Carl, it's me. Let me in. No one may enter unless they speak the royal password. Carl, what are you talking about? We don't have a password. <clears throat> yes, we do. I, I may want to do yet, like do. It. Listen, listen, look, still in the deep voice and hear where it says normal. That's where you go. All right, gotcha, gotcha. Yes, we do. I made one up while you were gone. Well, then how am I supposed to know what it is? You? Oh, for... <clears throat> good point. Welcome back, little buddy. So, what's up with the stolen time machine? Did you find it? Apparently not. And you managed to butt this, bust this one, one as well. It'll be fixed before Dad gets home. And how do you suppose that's Gonna, who's that? That's mine. Wow, a real robot. Hi, I'm Lewis. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. As oh. that. If my family finds out I brought you from the past, they'll bury me alive and dance on my grave. I'm not exaggerating. Well, yes, I am. But not the point. The point is, your hair's a day giveaway. What? Why would my hair be a dead giveaway? That is an excellent question. That. What? Wait. Where are you going? Another excellent question. Wait, uh, but don't, but I don't want to sit here. Stay. But. Yes, I mean it. I mean it. I treat it like a dog. Stay here like a good boy. Off the table. Wow. Oh, yeah, like he already said, wow, he was a little bit too early, so um, go, go ahead. Hello? Hey, ring, hey, ring my doorbell. Dimitri. 
Oh yeah, I'm Didri. <clears throat> no, no, no. No, 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 no. Where's my doorbell? Ring it. Ring it, ring it, ring it. Look at this doorbell. Ring it. Yes! Uh, that was accidental. There's an accident. That'll ring. It doesn't count. It's in the rule book. Look it up. Blackhead. Short rules. Evergreen. Ooh. What do you mean, don't go to the family? How can we not go to the family in this time of family crisis? By leaving the garage door unlocked, you let the time machine get stolen. And now the entire time stream could be altered. And that and someone took my bike. Look, I told you, it's going to it's gonna all work out. First, we keep losing the garage every, uh, away from everybody. I show up and give him the pep talk of the century. Then he fixes the time machine. <laughs> Why is it an acorn? I didn't have time to scope everything. Okay, now, the time machine is fixed, his confidence in inventing is restored, he goes back to the science fair, fixes his memory scanner, thus restoring the space-time continuum. What about taking him back to see his mom? I just told her that, uh, I just told her that to buy some time. Oh, yeah, I can't see that one blowing up in your face. Trust me, I got it under control. Will Robinson never fails. But on a slight chance that I do... On the slight chance, yeah. You know what? I'll run the numbers. Oh, okay. <gasps> what is it? Well, it's not... It doesn't pertain to anything. You know, there's not necessary... There's a 99 point... Uh, nine, 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 nine chance per, uh, percent chance that he won't exist. What? And I don't want to tell you, but I did. I won't exist? And where does that leave me? Alone rustling in a corner? Am I worried about it? Uh, now, blueprints. If this thing ever blows over, I really gotta get away from you and get some quiet time. Well, Lewis, but... Oh, no, 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 wait. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, that's, uh, it's Blitz's time. Go ahead, Blitz. Blitz? He must be doing something. You need to shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that moment. <laughs> what was that come from? From YouTube. And what video? Yeah, it's, it's like Penn compilation. and Teller. Like the, these dudes named Penn and Teller. That's how I like know, know them. Yeah. I see. I see. What? Well, hey there, little fella. Now I know what you're thinking. And my clothes are not backwards. My head is. Oh, I used to tell that one to my science students. They didn't laugh. You don't know who. What's your name, Fruithead? Well, Lewis, but... Lewis? Huh. Well, say, Lewis, you haven't seen any teeth around here, have you? Teeth? Yeah, my teeth. Been digging holes all day. Can't find them anywhere. Um, all right. Look, old man. I need to get back to the garage with Wib Wilbur. Let me let me down there and it, I Wilbur let me down there and I wasn't supposed to leave the these monsters monsters attacked me by on the porch and there is no monsters on the porch you ninny listen to me of course I also didn't think there was a woodchuck liver in my arm and looky there hope you got no rabies Uh, old man, I need to get to the garage. Well, sure, I'll get you there in a jiffy. I know, a shortcut. Welcome to the garage. Well, I'm completely lost. Hiya, Grandpa. Hey, Aunt Billy. Louis and me are looking for the garage. You're starting bells here, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, 
Yeah, that's uh, that's Mastermind. Yeah, Mastermind. Go ahead. All right. Um, we have a garage. But I said my line. Oh well, it. it oh, you didn't say apparently it. so. Gaston, go ahead. Yes, am I? Lewis, will 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 you give me a hand and and time my race? <gasps> okay, Gaston, my tow train is ready for you. That's. That's a toy train. Six, um, three no, point over, over here. Um, on your mark, get set, go. Uh, three point seven seconds. Do it as you again. Um, uh, I win. Okay, Lewis, I got the blueprints. Lewis? Um. So just checking who's the TV if we assign one. No, this somebody take over. All right, I got it. <clears throat> and five, and six, and seven, and eight. That's our good Joe. It works out. Keep those tummies tucked. This isn't uh, the garage. I know. I don't think there's a garage in here either. <clears throat> it got a very grave matter indeed. That's Uncle Catman. <laughs> yeah. Good. A real superhero? Part 4, Alpha um, Omega Galaxy need uh, a large cheese and sausage then crush. I'll be there in 30 minutes or it's free. Uh, he's a pro, uh, pizza delivery guy and it's funny because he played a pizza delivery guy in the Rugrats. He did? Yep. Wait, huh. I, I, thought, I thought he was also Captain Blasto. So did he, yes. Oh wait! Oh, like on the same, like in the same scene, right? Interesting. Like, Lewis, what are you doing up there? You, um, you looking for the garage? Uh, time out! My mom's coming. Okay, I mean, just, I, I, I'm just gonna say my line. Oh yeah. Uh, we just keep. Wait, hold on. I'm just checking who's that. That is. Oh yeah, that's you, Fresh. Yeah, I like it. Let's all stop painting my head. Wrong time, man. Right. Now, 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 now we stop. Okay. Yeah. So, do you guys actually have like a favorite character in Meet the Robinsons? Uh, I gotta say Goo because I felt bad for him when I was watching the movie and it was such a plot twist. Yeah, that was a plot twist. Yeah. I wanna say for ones I th I think I like Bud and and Art and Carl. <laughs> Carl. Yeah, he's like the coward. He's like the. I feel like he was a cowardly panic version of C3PO. But without the accent. Low. Also, also here's a reference Carl. Does anybody remember this sound? Bye, buddy, and I need it <laughs> Not my money, but I still need it. My money, and I need it now. Shut the fuck up. Who <laughs> else? Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, yeah. This is the one Bob was talking about. Got it. Let's turn it down. You gotta help me find my teeth. Ugh. I need it now. I need it now. It's not my money, but I still need it. Thanks, Marlon. He's got a watermelon on his head. Also, <laughs> this is life saving. He almost drowned when they went out boating, but I got a watermelon to keep me floating. Hey, welcome back to the Tyra, Tyrone and Eugene show. I Tyrone I'm, and I'm Eugene, I'm Eugene and you're and racist. you're racist. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, you know that what that blowhorn reminds me of is when Lance used to do those pranks in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Oh yeah, if, if you want to know what air horn that is, sorry, that's that's my air horn. Yeah, see, I got an air horn right here. Cool. Why don't you uh, get it? I got it in 2018, and yeah, it still it still works good. Cool. Are you fucking kidding me, man? <laughs> okay, man. Hey, bro, you want to see a picture of my seaward? That's the chicken, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> well, technically. <laughs> well, technically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Blitzy, what'd you say my air horn reminds you of again? The one when uh, with Lance Stewart when he used to do his vines in the bathroom. <laughs> nice. That's a good one. <laughs> Uh, uh, I know, uh, mouthwash. Oh, get, get the frick out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get my, get my, get my. <laughs> oh, yo, his grandma was badass on the lines. She, she, she was funny as a kid. Yeah, like this. <laughs> I can't fucking stand you. Then take a seat. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So you want me to take a right or a left? Yes. So you right, right. Right. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> what happened? Hello. Uh, we're here. Oh, like, like Bob was like saying, wait. Oh. I think we should okay. try to like replicate the scene too. Yeah. Morty. Hey man, can I tell you a secret? What? And then people started laughing. Dude, you told him I have a small wee wee. I didn't I say that. <laughs> you know, Jerry loyal. Uh, Morty, Morty, come in the garage. Uh, uh, okay. Ooh, he's stealing. Oh, he's stealing. Yeah. Mama, why are you stealing? She's stealing, y'all. Also, also, the one with the cop. Oh, he's snitching. Everybody's mm -hmm. snitching. Hey, don't get back. Do you see the pickle? Flip the pickle over. I turned myself into a pickle, Morty. Oh, I'm pickle my... Rick. I'm pickle Rick. I actually Rick. saw that episode, like them going to like you know family therapy, but Rick didn't want to go, so that's why he turned into a pickle. Yeah, and also he became like the most bad as pickle ever. Mm -hmm. Pickle Rick. Rat suit, pickle Rick. Yeah, I actually had a shirt of of pickle Rick one time. That's cool. I, I still have one. I think it's still in my house somewhere. Yo, dude, you want to tell them about your new song? Let me let you down. Uh, hey, yo, bro, what were you just doing? Oh, that was so awkward. Yeah. Hey. Hey, mama. We're going on a trip and our favorite potato chip. What? Uh, what? Or you just guess what? What? Chris Brown just died. Are you serious? His hair black. Bro, you play too much. <laughs> oh wait. Oh wait. 
But like, hey, if, if there's something you want to say, then just say it. <laughs> Dude, like, really, like, like what, what was funny? Oh, sorry, I just saw Lance's video. It's like, hey, Grandma, I got you a great gift. I got you a great gift. <laughs> Me. <laughs> what? Well, better have a fucking receipt, though. Hope you got a receipt. <laughs> Wait, the peeper. Oh, hey, dude, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> Remember when he was sucking helium and he sounded like Nicki Minaj? Yes. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Oh yeah, remember remember the Pringles commercial with Rick and Morty? I did. Hey yep. guys, you guys want to stack Pringles together? Here, here look. Oh, oh no, we're trapped in a Pringles commercial. They must have taken us in our sleep. Yeah, I remember that. that yep. makes, makes oh yeah. Oh yeah, and there was also even the there was also even the Wendy's commercial too, like like Morty, do not do not go anywhere near those guys. That's um <laughs> That's Wendy's cold coffee, Wendy's um honey chicken biscuit, and Wendy's bacon bacon and egg breakfast sandwich. Wait, and French toast sticks? Wendy's has French toast sticks? Uh, damn it, Morty. They're the Wendy's commercial. I yeah. also like the one where they did a God of War Ragnarok. Rick, yeah. are you shaving your head? We're going on an epic adventure, Morty. Yep. Oh. Ooh, that's good, Morty. Yep. Oh, and there was another Rick and Morty commercial. Like there was like I don't know like what it was called, but like there was like uh there was like a commercial where they showed Rick in um in a TV commercial where like you used a Ramon like you tell the TV what to play and the TV plays it. Yo, guys, you know what's so funny? What? What? I like how you guys were just talking about Rick and Morty, and look what just popped up. Like, they, they just cast their new actors for Rick and Morty. Oh. Really? Holy Ooh. crap. Oh. Yeah, look, see? Bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Robert Downey Jr. and Tom Holland. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, There's one time I saw one with Chris Pratt as Rick. Oh, wait. I saw, like, a chip. I saw, like, a... Those a chips commercial with Breaking Bad. Oh, wow. I, I, I saw that too because that was during the Super Bowl. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey, Kenny. Asma, did you check to make sure that this is safe? Oops, sorry. I should I put the wrong video. Like, no, don't play it. What? what? Well, it's just a. Well, it's okay. Never mind. Maybe it's safe. I mean, it's a gameplay. This is a this is a Rick and Morty game. Yeah, here well, that, that's Morty. It's only called that because it's voiced by Justin Roiland. Yep. Yeah, you can tell it's Morty's voice. Obviously. How would y'all react? Well, how would y'all react if that was actually real? What? All of this? Like, no, just the gun. I, I, I like all to right. be his friend. Alright, I think we're good now.
Okay. But but anyways, yeah. How would y'all react? How would y'all react if y'all? Oh no, his mic cut. Oh. oh dang it! I got. Sorry, Dude. I think a call just interrupted me. Like I got a call from Scam Likely. Oh, I hate scams. I remember this one video where this police officer was actually trolling the scam caller. Yeah. The last time I got a scam call was like two days ago. And they're still continuing to this day for some reason. Hello, because people are just sick in the head. Well, then, you know, I just don't want your deals, man. But you know what kind of deal I want? I want <laughs> this deal. Yep. And yeah, honestly, <laughs> yep, you gotta be careful with what what you get calls from because yeah you know you know how people are on the internet like you know there's like there's like viruses internet trolls and of course what everyone hates scam likely and spam hmm. yeah I always get annoyed from from scam likely you sure the whole world does Oh wait! By the way, hey guys, off topic. Did you see the the full? Re- There's a full release of a horror game where it's like Sesame Street with mixed with Resident Evil. It's oh yeah, called, I heard of that. Yeah, it's called My Friendly Neighborhood. I I did see the demo of it, and now since the game's finally out, I just want to say it just looks really fun. If you. They'll show you how what it means to be friendly. And by that I mean choking you to death. No, I'm just kidding. Also, the weapons in the game, they're amazing. Well, hi everybody. My name is Mr. Jellybean. Hi, Mr. Jellybean. I'm here oh. with, on my home with my grandma on an adventure. Well, that's very nice to hear. And then that epic, like, awkward scene in the bathroom. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm glad oh, Morty yeah, beat, beat him up. Uh, I'm glad Morty beat him up. Yeah. But still, it was a funny role for Tom Kenny. I mean, funny, but surprisingly just disturbing. Like, he's just so good at just pulling off something so just, just evil. I'm glad, and I'm glad Rick killed him. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Meeseeks, look at me. Yay. Hi, yeah. Mr. Meeseeks, look at me. Oh, yeah, by the way, so um, what if they made a Rick and Morty episode where Morty met Kenny? So, ladies, where were we? Easy, Frank. <laughs> Uh, classic Frank West. West. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Christian. What's the cousin? Oh, Ryan Muzzle. Line up, sis. Liz, I made it. Uh, yeah, Bobby, your Uncle Fritz. Oh, uh, yeah. Children, please. Your mother's trying to take a nap. And yeah, that's my you're the ass. All right. What what is all the yelling out here? He started it. She started it. I don't want to hear any more. Now, sweetie. <laughs> I love how you rolled get B slapped. Yeah, I had to do it. Don't don't you know, we have to do it. Me, I'm going for a drive. That's strange. She usually takes the Harley. Louis. I think my wife was uh was sees baking cookies. Bake them cookies, we'll see. Lucille. Lucille, my fault. Why is your dog wearing glasses? Oh, because his insurance won't pay it for contacts. That's Uncle Spike. And there is Uncle Dimitri. And look, there's Um The, the Mon that's the monster. Oh no, Lewis, that's our butler, Lefty. <clears throat> Who? No, 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 over here. Oh, oh, nice to meet you. Hey, Lefty, any idea how to get to the garage? Well, it's true. 
We didn't ask her yet. Who? Wilbur's mom, Fanny. I think you'll like her. Um. Uh, it is... That's, That's you, Bobby. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. You asked me over and over and over. Have you seen my peacock feathered hat? Nice. Uh-huh. Noise. Frogs. I taught them everything they know. Franny, this is Lewis. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Oh, perfect timing. We need someone on maracas. Where's your heart at? Nobody knows that. Even though you're him, hurt me, and I'm in such a I got a feeling you will be reeling when your bad circus comes to town. Grandpa, I think I found your teeth. You see me leaving, just a position or something like that. And how would you pronounce that word? Sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla. <clears throat> My teeth are back. Ring a ding ding. Yeah! 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, right. Well, glad I could help with the teeth, but but wow! Look at look at the time. Louis, I told you to stay in the garage. I did, but I went up the tube and I ran into your family, and I. Whoa! whoa you met my family up the tube. Uh, Pop quiz. Who have you met, and what have you learned? Um. Okay, but Fritz uh, and Joe are brothers. Fritz is married to Petunia, and is she cranky? Yes. Um. Oh, cranky. Um. Tillalia. To <laughs> Yeah, Lula I said Tula. And La La Zu La Laszlo are the child are children are their children. Joe is married to Billy. Leafy it is a butler. Spike and Dim Dimitri are Dimitri. Dimitri are twins. And I don't know who they're related to. Okay, here's okay. Here's a new rule. Anytime they get stuck on a word, somebody just jumps out. So if you don't, if you can't pronounce the word, just stop, and then somebody will help out. Okay. That goes for all of y'all. All right. Yes, yeah, just to make it simpler. Okay. Roger. It, neither do we. Go on. Lucille is married to Bud. And your dad, Cor- Cornelius, Cornelius, Cornelius is their son. What does Cornelius look like? Tom Selleck. Okay, Cornelius is married to Franny, and her brothers are Gaston and Art. Gaston, Gaston and Art. And like, guys, what did I say? Like, like you're you're forgetting something. Sorry. Mm. Uh, Good, Okay, forgetting. Oh, right. Wilbur is our is the son of Franny and Cornelius. And nobody realized you were from the past. Nope. Thank you. And. Thank you. Thank you. Hold your ap- ap- applause. Thank you very much. Oh, guys, get it out! Get it out! Ugh. I've got you now, Lewis! Oh. 
Uh, no, Lewis is my stupid roommate. My name is Mike uh, you Gublan, is that you say? Oh, okay, yeah, like, yes, get stuck on a word. Yes, somebody will jump out. But it's, yes, uh, it's Mike Yagubian. Yeah, so I got it. Okay. People just call me Goob. But today, everybody that beat me up call me Puke Face and Butterfingers and Booger Breath. Nice to see that they're branching out. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Well, I was just looking for Lewis. Try the roof. He's always up there being dumb. Of course. So why did I think of that? Mr. Steak, you're my only friend. Game didn't go so well, huh? No, I fell asleep in the ninth inning, and I missed a winning catch. Then I got beat up. Afterwards, coach took me aside and told me to let it go. I don't know. He's probably right. No! Everyone will tell you to let it go and move on, but don't! Instead, let it fester and boil inside you. Inside of you. Take these feelings and lock them away. Let them fuel your actions. Let hate be your ally, and you will be capable of wonderfully horrible things. Heed my words, Goob. Don't let it go, because this is not frozen. You mm. shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, SpongeBob got mad. <laughs> what? Where is that boy? Good idea. Separate and look. Uh, separate and look for clues. Look, my dear. Look what I found. It's a stick. Now, what do we what do we find? Yes, yes, I see. Time travel. Uh, time travel. Uh, somebody, somebody will. Rather do. Yes. Uh, next to DNA from Wilbur Robinson plus that plus my stick must mean. To the future! Shotgun! Um, I don't even know what I'm doing. Keep moving forward. I mean, this stuff is way too advanced for me. Keep moving forward. And what if I can't fix this? What are we gonna do? Keep moving forward. Why do you keep saying that? And don't just say keep moving forward. It's my dad's model. It's also the model of the great man, Mr. W.D. himself, and a certain boy who always knows what's to do every day. Why would his his motto be, keep moving forward? It's what he does. What does that supposed to mean? That is an excellent question. Robinson Industries, the world's leading scientific research and design factory. My dad runs the company. They mass produce his inventions. His motto, keep moving forward. It's what he does. What what has he invented? Everything. Carl, the time machine, the travel tubes. Your dad invented the time machine? Five years ago, a dad wakes up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat. He builds a time machine. He wants to build a time machine. So he starts working. We're taking plans. Uh, we're talking plans. We're talking scale models. We're talking prototypes. That's a prototype? The very first. Or what's left of it. Yikes. Yeah. Dark day at the Robinson house. Prototypes two and three, not so much. Not so much. Not so much better. Not much better. Numbers, I see. Number six, 58, uh, 58, uh, 212, 485, 952, and they're all end the same way. But he doesn't give up. Dude, I can't take you seriously in that hat. He keeps working and working until he finally gets it. The first working time machine. Then he keeps working and working until finally he gets it again. The second working time machine. Um, kind of small. That's what she said, but I'm assuming that's a joke. <laughs> I'm I'm ignoring you for I'm ignoring you for time reasons. This, my friend, is merely a model because unfortunately, time machine number two is in the hands of the bullet hat guy. Pretty amazing story, huh? Yeah. Now, are you ready to start working? I think that's it. I did it. I knew you could. Nice work, my friend. Well, you know what they say. Keep moving. 
Don't say it! Hello? Uh. Yeah, like, well, Franny is, uh, Bobby is Franny. Yeah. If oh. you want to go, if you, wait. Boys, dinner time. Um. If you aren't up here in five minutes, I'm going to come down and get you. We better get up there. Let's get that boy. Sit here, but I want to look too. We need Doris. I think you know you can do that. It's so cute. Let's sit down for this thing. Sorry. Teamwork. Sorry. Sorry. There you are. Now to learn about the house. I know. I'll blow it up. Yes. Yes. And no. No, that won't work. Then you'll be dead. And I'm not a murderer. Oh, I know. I turn him into a duck. Yes, yes, it's so evil. But I don't know how to do that. I really don't need a duck. <sighs> this may be harder than I thought. Uh, my parents could see me now. They still be disappointed because I was born as a disappointment. Oh. Hey, yeah. my doorbell. No, 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 no. Ring this doorbell. That doorbell will give you a rash. <laughs> Yes, I'm two for two, man. If they don't do it on purpose, it doesn't count. Come on, read your rule book. You know what? You can take your rule book and show it right up your... Help me out here. <laughs> Get your own. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Hold on. I don't believe in friends. Breathing while men surrounded with strife is I was cut up to step and strut up to give the simple life. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. 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 All right, Italian food. Go ahead, Mr. Mike. All right. I, I want a sloppy Joe. Oh, Billy, could you please pass the gravy? What the crud? <laughs> what was that? What was that? <laughs> that was the yeah. meme from Mr. Krabs. Remember he said that's Squidward? Yeah. I remember that meme. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Coming to you, big girl. <clears throat> Reminds me of the time my meatball pizza stayed off Civil War on the Black Moon of Keyward. Where's my sloppy Joe? Thank you for the gravy on Billy. We gotta talk. Go ahead, Miss Um, How about some gravy over here? Why is the kid still here? Any of this ring the bell? Science fair, Mary Scanner, a time stream that needs fixing? Temporary setback. He's just having a little confidence issue. You want me to talk to him? No. I gave him a back rub. Nine. Nine. Oh, I'll get a German thing. Shiatsu? Nix. Fang Shu? Nix. I got it under control. Um, no. So, so Lewis, no. are you in Wilbur's class? No. Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> uh, well, yes and no. Lewis is uh, a new transfer student. Uh, yeah. Good. That's you, Miss Where are Where are you from, Lewis? Canada. <laughs> I think it'd be North Montana. It hasn't been called Canada in years. Do you know Sam Gunnison? It's a big country. State. Huh? I wonder if you're related. Maybe if he took off his hat. Oh, good idea. Then we see if he has uh, the family cowlick. He can because uh, he's got bad hat hair. Oh, nonsense. Uh, North Montana man doesn't care about hat hair. 
Let's see the the cow lick. All right, everyone, hold your horses. Louis, do you mind? I'm afraid this isn't gonna stop otherwise. But but that's mine. And and so it begins. Now don't be shy. We're all family here. Ready, ready, aim, fire! And I love how they're uh, poking fun of, um, uh, because you know, and like films they do, like poor <laughs> dubbing. I just love that. Surely that's not the best you can do. Um, um, impressive. Little sister, your skills are strong, but not strong enough. Your words do not threaten me, brother. Then enough words. Now, the real battle begins. Your meatballs are useless against me. Then perhaps it's time for a spicy so Italian sausage. Food fight! Yay! Yay! That's right. I did it. Is dinner like this every night? No. Yesterday we had meatloaf. Okay, gang. Time for the second course. And what goes better with meatballs than Pete, Bay, and Jay? Hey, that's just like... <clears throat> ah, stupid. Carl? Is everything all right? We're just experiencing bugs. Just what the doctor ordered. My friend Lewis is an inventor. He can fix it. Wilbur, you know I can't. Come on, get a try, kid. You don't understand what's at stake here. Uncle Joe's seen the toast. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait a second, then what was... Bud. Oh, okay, my fault. I've passed the point of no return. If he doesn't get PB and J... I will all pay. I don't know. You would really be helping us out, Lewis. Please. Please. One drag of fire in the rocks, please, Mr. Barkeep. Okay. So, okay, so yeah. Hey, hey. hey oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Blitz? Yeah, I was about to say for our frog roll. So yeah, Maximine, you're the first frog. I'm the second one. And Bob, wait, was it Bobby or no? No, it was. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry, I got that wrong. I'm supposed to be the third one. I accidentally put the second one. Up. Sorry. I'm, okay, I'm... that's all right. Go ahead. All right. Hey, hey, Frankie, baby, you gotta tell us one, one, end of your joke. Yeah, Frankie. How about that one with the bullfrog? All right, you bozos. I have to get him. I have to get that boy out of the house. Sorry. Wait. So I turned to the bullfrog and I said, and you know what I says? Talking frogs with their own little old bar, uh, outdoor bar. That's so smart. They dress the perfect. I says, hey, not with my umbrella, you don't. Frankie, you're a riot. I gotta go. Eee. I love it. Uh, you bunch of goons. Uh, that's a good buzz. What the? Yes! You are now under my control! I am now under your control. <laughs> Stop laughing! Stop laughing. That Stop always made me laugh, laugh as a kid. What? That always made me laugh as a kid. <laughs> Stop laughing! Stop laughing. Don't repeat everything I say! I will not repeat everything you say. Excellent! Excellent! Uh, did you just say excellent because I said excellent? Because I'm not Mr. Burns. Uh, no. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> uh. 
<sighs> Sorry, I was yawning. So, so, Mr. Fix-It, how's it looking? Pretty good, Miss Robinson. I've recalibrated the dis- dispensing condults uh, and el- elegant the ejection and mechanism and there he is the repulsive of half with a fool now my slave seize the boy bring him to me did you not hear what I said you idiots grab the boy and... grab the boy and bring him well it's just that there's a million people over there and I have little arms I'm just not so sure how well this plan was done through Master? Master? Um, okay, that should do it. It's so exciting. Let her rip, Lewis. Quickly, Uncle Joe can't hold on much longer. Everybody ready? Go, uh, go, Carl. Yeah! yeah! Oh, no. No. I didn't know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah! Hell yeah. found. And it was awesome. Exceptional. Excelsior. Outstanding. Eh, I've seen better. From failing, you learn from success. Not so much. If I gave up every time I failed, I never would have made the meatball cannon. I never would have had my fireproof pants. Still working on the kinks. Like my husband says. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving, keep moving, keep And then, ta-da! Uh, okay, talking frog, not a good minion. Need another henchman, something large, not too bright. Uh, something that will talk back. What is he still doing here? Get rid of him. Al Manukin, hey, what are you doing? Get the dozy mitts off of me. You're going to regret this. Wait, wait, don't move. That's it. I'm never here if I should tell Doris. No, I'm making a surprise. All right, everyone, quiet down, quiet down. I propose a toast to Lewis and his brilliant failure. May it lead to success in the future. Ding, clink. Gosh, you're all so nice. If I had a family, I, I'd want them to be just like you. Oh. Oh, well, then to Lewis. 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 Yeah. What if Lewis Armstrong uh, said, I can't? You think he had walked on the moon? Dear Lewis Armstrong was a singer. Uh, what do you mean if he had a family? Oh, Lewis is an orphan. Orphan? Ooh. <gasps> <gasps> Big boy! Bless you. Thanks. Yeah. Get up, you. <laughs> what a great plan! Go back in time and steal a dinosaur. Oh, no, Doris will be so proud of me. She ain't. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me you had a pet dinosaur? Um, because we don't. What are you talking about? He's standing right there. <laughs> oh, no! You can't eat him! I need him alive! Choo-choo on this. Lewis! <laughs> Uh, um, ready, aim, fire. Gotcha. You messed with the wrong family. Ding dong, pizza's here. No! 
Okay, everybody, the Dallas Deep Dish. Run! Oh, no, here it comes! Incoming! Run! Now go get that boy! Roar! Dinosaur. <laughs> What's going on? Why'd you see the boy? <laughs> Him, you can eat. Lewis, run! That that scene for the dinosaur that will, that will always be funny. Yeah, I know. Wilbur. <sighs> Oh no! I thought I just got with fishes. Nice catch. Nice meatball shooting. Guess we made a pretty good team, huh? Yeah, I guess we did. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm sorry. I was just watching the scene again. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, don't have much time. You know, <laughs> the limit is the limit is like a like. Okay. 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 Settle down. Hey, what are my you doing all right? We're, we're good, mom. Yeah, I didn't see us take take out that dinosaur. Oh man, it was so cool, mom. Um. Um. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't. Oh, oh, Louis, it, it, it's okay. I'm really happy you're safe. Your head. Uh huh. What? Oh, it, it's just a bruise, Louis. You all sacrificed so much for me. Well, of course. You're a special kid. Barely. Yes. Okay. One of a kind. Okay, you should get him out of here before something really bad happens. Silly, silly robot. I got it all under control. Okay, everybody, it's been a long, hard day filled with emotional turmoil and dinosaur fights, so why don't you all hit the hay and me and Lewis and me will get going. We'll get going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have to go now? I mean, you know, it's getting late. Maybe Lewis can spend the night? Mom, maybe, maybe some other time, okay? Well, anytime you want to come over, you just come over. Mom? The truth is, we love having you. We really have to go. No, no, you don't. You have to stay. I mean, who would be a better family for you than us? What do you say, Lewis? Do you want to be a Robinson? You want to adopt me? Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> okay, it's true. I'm from the past. Now you know the the big secret. Wilbur, what have you done? How could you bring him here? That is an excellent question. Um. Okay. Um. Please don't get mad at Wilbur. He just—he just being a good friend. Lewis, I am so sorry, but you have to go. What? You just said. I know what I said. I'm from the past. So what? Lewis, Lewis, look at me. You're. You're a great kid, and we would never do anything to hurt you, but I'm sorry. You have to go back to your own time. Yeah, about that, one of the time machines is broken, and the other one was stolen by a guy with a bullet hat, which kind of explains the dino. 
I'm calling your father. Wait, if I if I can if I have to leave, can I at least go back and find my mom? Wilbur promised. You promised what? I was never gonna do it. I swear. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh. You lied to me. No. Yes. Mm. Lewis, Lewis, wait! I can't believe I was so dumb enough to actually believe you were my friend. But I am your friend! Mister, you're grounded till you die. Ah, uh, dang. Dang, that's harsh. Yeah, it's one of the most brutal things that I've ever heard. <laughs> Ah, yes, Doris. It is a shame. All he wants to do is go back in time to meet the mother he never knew. But they won't let him. We let him. We let him go. Too bad we don't have a time machine. Oh, wait, we do. Bowler? Oh, wait. Bowler hat guy? Bowler. Bowler hat guy? Hello, Lewis. What do you want? To make your dream come true. All you have to do is put Humpty Dumpty back together again and we'll take you back to find your mommy. Lewis, let's just talk about this. Lewis, come on. I know you're out here some around here somewhere. I can't imagine why you're so interested in this piece of junk. That's for me to know and you to find out. Now, show me how to work this thing. It doesn't work. Never did. Well, supposing it did, and if one were presenting the invention to, say, a board of directors for a very large invention company, where might one find the on switch? Hypothetically speaking, of course. All right. First... You turn on, turn this knob twice, then push the red button, and that's it. It's pretty easy. What a stupid way to turn it on! Okay, take me to see my mom now. Yes, of course, Doris. We had a deal. Crossies doesn't count. Why are you doing this to me? I never did anything to you. You still haven't figured it out? Figured what out? Well, let's see if this rings a bell. Part of, an, part of the future, inventor and extraordinaire, keep moving forward. Um, uh, that That's not me. That's Wilbur's dad. Are you saying that Wilbur, that I'm Wilbur's dad? Give the boy a prize! You grow to be the founder of this wretched time, so I plan to destroy your destiny! Easy peasy, rice and cheesy. Um. Well, so I'm Wilbur's dad? Keep going. If I'm Wilbur's dad... Yes, thank you, we've established that. But what does that have to do with you? Allow me to shed some light on the subject. My old room. I think you mean our old room. What? Yes! Yes, it is I! Mark Yagobian! Ah! I know. I'm disgusting, but one learns to love it. How did you end up like this? We had a long and pitiful story about a young boy with a dream. A dream of winning a Little League championship. A dream that was ruined in the last inning. We lost by one run because of me. I am. Baseball player boy. Wait, who's baseball player boy? Wait a, wait a hmm. Oh, that's Christian's subscriber I just saw. Wait, who? 
Yeah, Shane. Oh. Chris just seemed pissed for a second for some reason. Uh, damn. Well, because I actually forgot about that dude. Damn. Uh, anyway, um, so who's the baseball dude? There's anybody. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Get him! Goodbye. Oh, wait. <laughs> Uh, so wait, it's me or you in the scene? Uh, yeah, oh wait, yeah, well, this, this is you. Like I almost. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, got you. If I hadn't fallen asleep, I would have caught the ball, and we would have won. Do you understand? For some, for some reason, no one wanted to adopt me. Hey, Goop, what's up? Cool binder. Uh, and who's kid number three? Let me just double check. Three, three. That's mastermind. All right. All right. It says Kid 3 is you, Blitz. Does it? Huh. Wait, oh, wait, no, wait. No, I'm, I'm kidding. It is Mastermind. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got you. So I'm Kid 3? Yeah. Yes, you are. All right. Hey, Just... Goob. Hey, Goob, want to come over here to my house today? They all hated me. Eventually, they closed down the orphanage, and everyone left except me. Oh, where's kid Cornelius Robinson? Graduates from college at age 14. This year's Nobel Prize goes to a young Cornelius Robinson. Cornelius Robinson rebuilt, rebuilt in Venco. Robinson reaches out. Its new name, Robinson Industries. Cornelius Robinson. Cornelius Robinson is now. Now here is another amazing. It was then that I realized that it wasn't my fault. It was yours. If you had to keep me up all night working on your stupid project, then I wouldn't have missed the catch. So I devised a brilliant plan to get my revenge. Robinson, you stink! Then, just as I was on the brink of destroying Robinson Industries, I met her. We were treated to a villainous lair where, where Doris spun a tale of deception and woe. Apparently, you invented her to be a helping hat, a slave to mankind, but Doris knew she was capable of so much more. However, you didn't see her true potential. Yeah, that's you, Mr. My Cornelius. Got it. So you shut her down, or so you thought. We both had to. We both had to score the cellar with you. And while my plan for revenge was brilliant, Doris's was. Well, we went with Doris's, but I made a very, very important con contribution. Contribution. Together, we made the perfect team. Wilbur, make sure you shut that door tight, or else the alarm won't engage. Yeah, mom. I went to your house, stuck into the garage, and stole the time machine, all thanks to that pointy-head little kid who forgot to lock the garage door. And now, all that's left is return to Inventico, where I'll pass off your little kid well as my own. Uh, but you who have no idea what that could do to this future. I don't care! I just want to ruin your life! Good. I had no idea. Goob. Goob, I had no idea. Shut up! And don't call me Goob! How many evil villains how many evil villains do you know who can walk a name like Goob? The Goobster. Look, also I'm, yeah, oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry. I was gonna say, so this is so this is how Waluigi took place. It was all because of Lewis. And um, then afterwards, he teams up with Wario, and they go on to do oh random shit, which it all turns out to be bad, and they laugh together. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry your life turned out turned out to so bad, but don't blame me. You messed it. You messed it up yourself. You just focused on the bad stuff. When all you had to do was let let go of the past and keep moving forward. Thanks, Mildred. Let's, let's see. Take responsibility for my own life or blame you. Ding, 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 ding. Blame you when hands down. This is going to be the best day of my life. Doris, would you be a dear and open the hat for me, please? No! 
Well, I hate you for your evil plan and run, but ta ta. <laughs> I'm glad you're. I bet you're glad to see me. Ow! Oh, that's gotta hurt. Eh. <laughs> that's for not locking the garage door. Oh, uh, you know about that? I know everything. You gotta admit, this would be a great story to tell me someday. Look at the boys. We're almost home free. Oh, I just got Kano. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait. Someone say, what, say something? I was like, he got KO, but while he was like muffled. Fatality. <laughs> take, a, uh, take a good look around, boys, because your future's about to change. Lewis, you have to fix the time machine. Um, no, no. I can't. What about your dad? You could call kill him. Whoa, kill dude. him. Whoa. Call him. Oh, dude, Sorry. Whoa. No. No. Uh, look, I was confused. Like I forgot Whoa. how the movie went and stuff. Like I for like I just I just like I just I was confused of what it was. Like I don't I forgot. Okay. Uh, just, just try again. Try again. Yeah, yeah. Like this is why you have to slow down. Like you just and just read careful. Okay. No, no, I can't. What about your dad? You can call him. You are my dad. But that's in the future. There won't be a future unless you fix the time machine. Look, I messed up. I left the garage unlocked and I tried like crazy and I tried like crazy to fix things. But now it's up to you. You can do it, Dad. Lewis? Lewis? Wilbur? Wilbur, Wilbur, Miss Robinson, Uncle Art, Lefty. Prepare to be amazed. I call it my memory scatterinator. So, Yakubian, any other ideas you'd like to share with us? Yes, I call them helicopters. They're everywhere. Doris, what's happening? I don't understand. I just want to ruin this future, not this. No! No, no, this can't be happening. No! Oh, Lewis, it's already happened. Why did I ever invent that stupid hat? Take a good look around, Doris, because your future's about to change. Goob, stop. You don't know what you're doing. Yes, I do. I'm ruining your future. She's using you, Goob. And when she gets what what she wants, she'll get rid of you. What? What? I am never going to invent you. Come on, Goob. I, I've got to show you something. Doris? I thought she was my friend. You did it, Lewis! You did it! <gasps> Stop! I'll hold him while you run for help! Uh, take this, mother! Take this! Get wrecked! Get wrecked! Get some! Let him go! What, what are you doing? He's the bad guy! No, he's not. He's my roommate. What? He's my old roommate, and I really think you guys should adopt him. Are you nuts? Give him one good reason why not. I'll give you three good reasons. He stole our time machine, he tried to ruin your future, and he smells like he hasn't showered in 30 years. <clears throat> May I remind you, I'm your father, and you have to do what I say. Okay, Mr. Yagubian, do you want to be a... Where'd he go? Goob? 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 Are you hurt? Any broken bones? No, I'm... Do you have a temperature? Brrrr! 
Oh, I'm sorry. I was just making a picture, but okay. Uh, yeah. Brain frog? Frog. Scurvy. Oh, Scurvy. <laughs> Tapeworm? Cellulite. 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 Cellulite? No, Cellulite. no, no. I'm fine. I feel fine. In fact, better than I've uh, felt in a long time. Franny, you're gone. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, boy. Well, he's home early. Franny, where are you? The time machines are gone. Oh, oh. Ran it out with the old lady. Harsh. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Beats working in an office every day. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, want to see the one I'm I'm most proud of? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. That that one, it was our first real invention. It's the one that started it all. Wowie. So if I go back now, then this will be my future. Well, that depends on you. Nothing is set in stone. You gotta make the right choices and keep moving forward. Since it's gonna work this time, that means I... We won't finally get to see what Mom looks like. Do we ever meet her? I think you're just gonna have to get to that science fair and find out yourself. I had a feeling you you were gonna say it. I had a feeling you were going to say that. That's that's because we are one smart kid. Bye bye. bye, bye. Ha- have a safe trip, little Lewis. I will. Hey, while I got you here, I just a couple of little suggestions regarding my design. Let's face it; these skinny limbs don't exactly make the teapot whistle. All that really matters is, hey, don't forget to invent me. Are you kidding? No way. I love you. There's so many things I wish you ask. Excuse me, time travel now. Ex questions later. But I... Don't worry, just get back to that science fair and we'll see you real soon. Oh, right. Right, okay. I will. Bye. Goodbye, son. Thanks again for everything. Wait, Lewis, one more thing? Yeah? Just a little tip for the future. I am always right. Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. She's right. I just go with the with it, even if you were and I am. Then you're uh, absolutely right. All right, I'm coming. Well, it's not like you're never going to see them again. They are your family, after all. Wait a minute. You're supposed to take me back to the science fair. I know. Well, I think you're. I think you punched in the wrong numbers. We agreed that if you fix the time machine, I take you back to see your mom. What? A deal's a deal. I don't get it. Why did you just let her go? Because I already have a family. I never thought my dad would be my best friend. Now. Now, don't make me come back and bail you out again. I won't. Remember, I got a time machine. If you mess up again, I'll just keep coming back till you get it right. You got that model? I got it. Don't forget it. 
I don't think that's possible. You better get going. See you later, Wilbur. Goop. Goop. Oh, wait, wake wait, up. You, you missed. Oops. Wait a minute. Goob. Goob. Wake up. What? Oh, he's muted. He must be doing something. <laughs> okay, the funniest thing just happened. So what? when I was trying, I was saying my line. I said what, but I didn't realize I was muted the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oops. Oh, Daisy. Wow. <laughs> like I expect this out of Captain Cuckoo, but but you. <laughs> no, because while I was muted, I was making something. But all right. <laughs> <laughs> But come on, we have plenty of time to work on it. We're almost done. Huh? Huh? What? Um, we, um, Miss. Uh, no, no, somebody can take over the coach. Sorry. Okay. Nice catch, kid. Woo! All right, go, yeah, go, yeah, go, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Willer sign. I, I know what went wrong. Can I have one more chance, please? My right isn't here yet, so fire it up. I need a volunteer now. Just give me a a date to input. Well, now, let's see. There's my first science fair, the day I got my first microscope, the time I swam the English Channel, my first gold medal for the lunch. Oh, I know. <laughs> she volunteered as tribute. Perfect. You look gorgeous. So I get to go for the little Okay. Okay. Too late. <laughs> go ahead. Hello. Go, go Christian. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, it <laughs> works. It works. It works. You look beautiful, see. Lucille. Bud? Would you look at that? Whoa. Honey, honey, you're just in time. Lu Lucille. 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 Hold on, be right back. Man, uh, the reason I was muted because I was making an edit because I was kind of like getting bored a little bit, so I just made something for myself. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, like, I'll show you a little bit of what I was doing. Hold on. I was making a picture. I see I Squirtle, Moxie, oh, Nicholas, Superman, T Rex, Waluigi, Carl, Danny DeVito, Sonic, Goku, and Willem Dafoe. And it's funny because today is Willem Dafoe's birthday. Yes. Oh, it is? I'm back. Yeah. God speed, Spider Man. All right, we can continue. All right. You did it, Lewis. You did it. This invention is brilliant. Kid, you're just Bear's MVP. That was some show you put on. You're a real special kid. But you don't look like a Lewis, you look like more of a. Cornelius, I get that a lot. Good, Bobby. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh no! Sorry, Mister. No harm done. Mm -hmm. Frankie, what have I told you about running away? Frankie, my star pupil. My name's Franny, and I teach dogs. I I said dogs. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I. Teach frogs music. Really? You know that frogs have more musical ability than people, but nobody believes me. They all think I'm crazy. You think I'm crazy too. No, no. I think you're right. Over here, there he is. Kid, we like to get a story on you for the local paper. You got a bright future ahead of you. Yeah. And scene. Ah, that was. Brilliant. Yeah, I agree. That was brilliant. <laughs>